Let's discover now the similarities and differences between two numerical patterns. You should know by now what is a numerical pattern. To build a pattern, you need the first number or numbers and the rule instructing us how to build the pattern. The rule tells us how to find the next number from the previous one. Let's build now two patterns in the same time and compare them. We will discover interesting things. The first pattern first number is 0, the rule is at 3. Second pattern first number is 0, the rule is at 6. We'll start to build the first pattern. We start from 0, then add 3, add 3 again, add 3 again, and so on. The second pattern we start from 0 and add 6 this time. Add 6 now is 12, and always add 6 to the last number to find the next number. We have then two patterns. Now the question is, how are the same and how are different? Let's compare the elements of those two patterns one by one. Compare the first element from the first pattern with the first element from the second pattern and then the second element from the first pattern with the second element from the second pattern. For example, compare 0 with 0, 3 with 6, 6 with 12, 9 with 18, 12 with 24, 15 with 30. We'll stop here for the moment. We formed pairs where first element from each pair is from the first pattern and second element from each pair is from the second pattern. Look carefully at them. What do you observe? Compare the first element from each pair with the second element from each pair. Yes! The second element is the double of the first. Where's that came from? Let's see why the second element equals first element times 2. First pattern rule is add 3. Second pattern rule is add 6. We always add double to the second pattern. Because we always add double to the second pattern, the numbers from the second pattern are doubles from the numbers in the first pattern. For example, 6 is double of 3, 24 is double of 12. I think it's a simple but surprising fact about those patterns, don't you think? Now, take a pen and a piece of paper and make yourself those patterns again. Make sure you really understand what's going on here. Pause the video now. See you later! Let's see now what other surprises hold those two patterns. Let's shorten the second pattern to make the last numbers the same in those two patterns. Do you know those wooden toys called matrushka that fit one inside another? It's exactly the same with our patterns. Pattern 2 fits inside pattern 1. We find 0 from the second pattern here in the first pattern. We find 6 from the second pattern here on the first pattern. 12 it's here. 18 it's here. 24 it's here. The entire second pattern is found in the first pattern. First pattern contains the second one. I find this an interesting discovery, but there are more similarities with the real world. Let's find the next one. We have the same patterns one contained into another. The first pattern is similar with a regular bus and the second pattern with an express bus. The regular bus starts from 0 and stops at 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and 24 miles. The express bus goes the same road but stops only every 6 miles. Starts from 0, stops at 6, 12, 18 and 24 miles. If we want to go in the stations 6, 12, 18 and 24, we can take any bus, because any bus will get there. That's because the first pattern contains the second one. And the regular bus stops in every station the express bus stops. 
The other way around is not true. The second pattern does not contain the first pattern. The express bus doesn't stop in every station the regular bus stops. For example, the express bus ignores stations 3, 9, 15, 21. You see how many similarities are between numerical patterns and real life. That's why scientists choose math to model our world, from galaxies and stars, to planets, to microscopic things, everything obeys mathematical rules. When you see those patterns, you won't believe how many things you can extract from them, and there is more. Just to remember, first pattern is built starting from zero, with the rule add 3, and second pattern is built starting also from zero, but the rule is add 6. Let's form again the pairs. Take the first element from the first pattern and the first element from the second pattern and form a pair. Then take the second element from both patterns and form a pair. Then the third element from both patterns and so on. We have those pairs. Now what do we do with them? We draw them. We have a ruler with all the numbers on it. We draw the first number from each pair on this ruler. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Remember that every first number from each pair is actually the number from the first pattern. But what should we do with the numbers from the second pattern? We draw them on a vertical ruler, like this. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. We don't have space for 30, but you get the idea. Now for each pair, we make a dot. For example, the first pair 0, 0. We make a dot at 0 and 0. For the second pair, 3, 6. We make a dot at 3 horizontally and 6 vertically. So we go 1, 2, 3. And vertical, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here is the dot. For each pair, we make a dot. 6, 12. 9, 18. 12, 24. Look, there's a line here. But why it's a line and not a curve? You'll understand better when you'll know a little more math. That's also a drawing describing a math pattern. Here's a drawing describing four mathematical patterns. Doesn't it look nice? And here's a drawing describing a more complex mathematical pattern. I hardly wait to teach you all about them. And of course, how you can draw them yourself. But for the moment, let's stick with our line and try to understand it better. Let's draw a new set of patterns. Let's see what line they do. For example, first pattern, it starts from 0, add 3. Second pattern, it starts from 0, add 1. For the first pattern, we have 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. From the second pattern, we have numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's draw them. 0, 0, 3, 1. 6, 2, 9, 3, 12, 4, 15, 5. Here's another line. It's a different one, but also a line. You always get a line from those kind of patterns. Now you should be able to draw one yourself. Draw this one and be amazed. First pattern, start from 0, add 1. Second pattern, start from 12 and subtract 2. 